one is the Crane V2 free access gimbal stabilizer. There's a lot of them out there and you can, you can get confused. So unlike this one, this one here is made for cameras. And we're talking about he kind of heavy cameras with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens on it. So this is pretty much a pretty heavy camera to have on there. So I paid just around $300 for this. Is it worth it? I don't know yet. I have only used it once. So here it is, here's the box that it came in, um, it comes with your rechargeable batteries, it comes with the battery charger, it comes with a USB cable to, to, charge, to charge the batteries on there, it comes with different sizes to attach your camera, you have different sizes on there. It also comes with a little support to hold your lens or your camera if the lens is going to be too long. And basically that's all and, and actually comes with the gimbal right on here. So let's take this out. This is the bad boy right here. Let's put this on the side. This you're gonna put your this you're gonna put your batteries in here. And this will also act as a handle. You can see it's nice, have two nice like, rough areas right here, so it becomes a handle and give you extra length. You're just gonna put this inside like, like this and your, your manual. So you have this, you're gonna screw this in at the bottom, just like this. So I didn't get a leg in this one. I can't tell if that version had a leg or not. Clearly I have quite a few stuff lying around that I can use as a leg to hold this up. So I would advise you, if you're buying one of these, try to get something to hold it up. I mean, you can use you can use your camera stand if you want, but something really small like this that you can put on a desk will really come in handy. So here you have it, and she's ready to go. Like I said, you're gonna have two of this really light stuff. You wanna make sure it's the right one to fit your, your camera, and that one fits. So. You can see right on here, apart from the controls right here, you can see right here, you can, you can charge your camera or something else from this and, and I don't know why you want to do this. Um, this has good battery life. I heard that it had up to over 12 hours battery life on this, so that's pretty good. So you want to make sure that when you put in this on, that area right here, which is made for the support, the camera support, make sure it's facing you, everything is facing back. So you're gonna get this to sit on here like this, basically, like this. And you want to go at the bottom, and you can see why this stand is so important right here. It's gonna be really easier for you to have a stand on there. And you can just kind of tighten it in, but leave it. And so you can see right here, it's a bit off right now. It's not straight. So right here, this one here, you want to loosen that one here because you're trying to get it straight. And I just, just put my finger right here and just push it out a little bit. And you can see it's a little better now. And to go back in a little bit. Kind of almost there. And you can see right here, we almost have it here. So we're gonna... Okay, so right now you have it straight this way. Or straight, you have it close to being straight. Make sure it's straight like this. Um, you can go at the bottom here, loosen this one right here. And if it's, fit, if it's going down like this, you want to bring it back like this until you get it to where you want it. I'm a bit off this way, so we're going to open this, the one at the back again, the one at the back right here. A little bit down this way, so we're going to just bring it back a bit. Here, yeah, that's a little bit right there. So we can lock it right here. And remember, while you're doing this, you don't want to turn on the gimbal. We don't want to put any stress on the gimbal. So now we're gonna close this on, just like that. So now make sure everything is tight, everything that needs to be tight on the gimbal, make sure it's tight, just like that. Turn it forward, because this is how it's gonna be. So you turn it forward, just like that. Make sure it looks pretty straight. It's a bit, a little bit, or we can get it to go a little bit this way. So let's open this up again. That looks pretty good. So now that we have it straight, now we can turn it on. It's gonna flicker, let it go. See? Barely flinch a little bit, where it get itself to where it wanna go. I can go up, I can come down. Looks 
center. I bring my hand down like this. Bring my hand up. This. How nice is this? Really nice. You can bring your hand down. So you can have your camera, you can walk in and bring it down low to the ground as possible if you want to. Just imagine that. The one thing I have to tell you is it's it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty heavy. I don't know how long you're gonna be able to hold this in your hands like this. So you can see, turn the gimbal. You see by just twisting my hands, I'm just turning the gimbal just like that. Let's go outside and try it. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead, I will leave all the description for you guys down below ready to get this. Um, the price I paid for it and all that information down for you guys below. I will also leave the link the description for this one, the 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 smartphone gimbal for you guys. Nice products guys to have. This is Charlie, like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and check out some video footage that I took earlier on.